Hello guys! The laser has finally has arrived after one month. So yeah. It does look pretty nice and I have a uh, other camera now. So it's a bit easier to edit and everything. I already used it a few times so the paint will get scratched pretty easy. That's the downside a little bit. Oh, come on focus. Yes. But further from that it does have pretty good light. The lace is pretty good. You can disassemble it pretty far. This part. So this is the laser diode. Little piece of foam. It's well hot potted in there. So you can do anything about it. This piece is also glued so you can do anything with that one which I probably won't because of when you change that the focus is pretty hard to get back perfectly so I'm not gonna do that one okay this one goes on there again just like that it is pretty sturdy, it's massive. Switch feels okay. Not bad at all. This star cap is made of aluminium on the outside. So that's fine. Not bad at all. So yeah. Let's insert the battery. And if I correct the uh, minus, it's going to be up. Is it? No, it was down. Or not, I don't know it anymore. Yes, that's it. Okay. So, yeah. It is pretty bright, I have to say. You can see the beam. If it's dark. No, this one is still pretty bright, and this one is probably too. But you see it? Yes. It's easy to see. But you can see the beam. With the glint ring there. So it is pretty powerful. And my. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. The light is not that good anymore. I have my other lamp needs to warm up, so that's a bit irritating. But we'll just continue since we need some more darkness in a few min minutes. So I'm just gonna. Wow. That lamp really sucks. <laughs> just screw that thing on. And then you can get these effects. As well. And change the patterns and everything from it. So that's uh, pretty nice I have to say. It's well, really pretty nice. And build quality seems to be okay from this thing. So. And of course the label says that it is one milliwatt. Come on focus. Well yes that goes. Max output power 1 milliwatt. It's way above that. It's probably about 60 or 80 milliwatts or something like that. So it's still plenty for a little laser. Way plenty. So yeah. The paint does come off pretty easy. But for this price range, it well, you can't do that at all. It's fine. It still works after well, a little, little bit of abuse. So yeah. And yes, lace isn't the best quality because of well, you can see all the shimmering around, in, around it and everything. So 
And no, this laser won't burn or anything. So, yeah. It's a little downside, but it's still pretty awesome for the price range. So now I'll set it up in my room. Then you can see the star pattern a li little bit better. So pause the mic. And well, so see you in a few seconds. A few moments later. Okay guys, I'm back. And this is the pattern. It's pretty bright. You can see it pretty well. From a little bit of a distance. Let's point it a bit more to the floor. So yeah. It's pretty nice. Let's screw off the star cap. And this is the laser itself. Yes, now you can see the beam and everything. So yeah. Can you see it a bit better? Yes, there you can see it. So for six euro fifty, that ain't bad at all. Or six, seven bucks or something like that. It ain't bad at all. It's pretty powerful. Uh, maybe I'll tonight get uh, more videos of this one. Uh, yes, there's my little speaker. It's a bit, well, old fashioned. Ah, the LED still on in there. Little charger, but the lace is alright, I have to say. It's pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. And. I will upload a video later on the on a video when I'm outside or something like that. Then you can see how bright this one is. But yeah, you can see the beam, so that's uh, pretty awesome. And I didn't put on any smoke machine in here, so 